Ever cracked open a Pepsi and felt that crisp fizz race up your nose? Yeah, it's oddly satisfying. But what if I told you that feeling is the result of one of the most finely tuned productions on the planet? Today, we're stepping inside the Pepsi factory, where soda is less of a drink and more of a science experiment gone right. Pepsi isn't just fizzy sugar water, though your dentist might say otherwise. Its taste is the product of years of trial, error, and serious chemistry. That first sip, engineered with precision. The sweetness comes from high fructose corn syrup, chosen because it's consistent. A Pepsi in New York tastes identical to one in Nebraska, but sweetness alone would be too much, so flavor engineers added a subtle citrus twist. That tiny zing keeps it light, refreshing, and dangerously addictive. It's like the soda version of a plot twist. Just when you think you figured it out, you're pulled in for another sip. Here's the wild part. Your brain is wired to crave it. Studies show Pepsi's balance of sugar and acidity fires up the same reward centers that chocolate does. Basically, you're getting the brain buzz of a truffle in liquid form. That's why just one can so easily turns into two or three. And unlike drinks that drown you in syrup, Pepsi sidesteps that heavy aftertaste. It's a formula designed to walk a perfect tightrope, bold, sweet, and crisp, without tipping into overload. That balance is why Pepsi has kept fans hooked for generations. Flavor is only the beginning. Once you've nailed the recipe, the real challenge is delivering it to millions of people. And that's where the factory steps in. Imagine a cavernous space buzzing like an orchestra, stainless steel machines, conveyor belts weaving like highways, and robots moving in flawless rhythm. If Willy Wonka made soda, this would be his playground. But first, the bottles get a full spa treatment. Plastic or glass, each one is blasted with high-pressure jets, scrubbed spotless, and inspected by cameras sharp enough to catch the tiniest flaw. A scratch or bubble? Rejected instantly. Only perfect bottles make the cut, because no one wants a dented container messing up their fizz. From there, it's showtime. Bottles glide down the line like runway models heading to the filling stations. Robots inject the precise ratio of syrup and carbonated water. Thousands of bottles per minute, each one identical. No spills, no waste, just mechanical perfection. Watching it feels hypnotic, like soda ballet at industrial speed. Meanwhile, I can't even pour a can at home without it foaming all over the counter. After filling, bottles are capped to seal in that trademark hiss. Then robotic arms swoop in, stacking them neatly into crates like soldiers ready for deployment. The choreography is so smooth, it feels rehearsed, but humans are always nearby, supervising. Machines may have the speed, but judgment still belongs to people. Think autopilot on a plane. Reliable, but you still want a pilot in the cockpit. Of course, producing billions of bottles means nothing if you're wrecking the planet while doing it. PepsiCo knows sustainability is no longer optional. So one major step has been bringing back refillable glass bottles. They can be reused again and again, cutting down waste. And beyond eco points, glass keeps Pepsi fizzier for longer, with none of the plasticky aftertaste. It's Pepsi, but sharper and classier. Not every packaging experiment has been perfect. Take black plastic bottles, sleek and stylish, sure, but recycling plants can't detect them properly. Too many slip through the system, ending up in landfills. Environmental groups called Pepsi out, and instead of brushing it off, the company started experimenting with new formulas and hidden markers to fix the issue. Stylish and sustainable is a tough combo, but not impossible. Packaging isn't just about recycling, though. It's about psychology. Pepsi knows the look of a bottle or can can be just as important as the liquid inside. Bold fonts, bright colors, and even the feel of the can in your hand are all carefully studied to make you want it more. It's marketing meets design meets brain science. Ever noticed how holding a cold, condensation-covered Pepsi can somehow makes it taste better? That's not an accident. It's product design working its magic. Now you might be thinking, okay, Pepsi makes soda, big deal. But here's the twist. PepsiCo doesn't just stop at soda. Step deeper into the factory and you'll stumble across iced coffee production lines. That's right, Pepsi's in the coffee game too. And the process, just as meticulous. Massive brewers churn out high quality coffee in bulk 
which is then blended with milk and sugar in carefully measured proportions. The goal is simple. Every single bottle should taste exactly the same because the last thing you want when you're groggy on a Monday morning is a coffee that's mysteriously weak. Pepsi's iced coffee is engineered consistency in a bottle, and the surprises don't stop there. Walk a little further, and you'll find yourself in the noodle section. Yes, noodles. Here, flour, water, and salt become dough. Dough becomes sheets, and sheets become thin noodles, all before being steamed, fried, and sealed into packets with seasoning. It's like a culinary speed run. On another floor, bubble gum, gummy candies, chocolate biscuits, each one produced with the same robotic efficiency. It's basically a one-stop shop for everything your sweet tooth could ever dream of. By now, you might be wondering how Pepsi's factories manage to keep everything so smooth and synchronized. And honestly, it comes down to one word, automation. Robots are the stars here. They fill, cap, seal, stack, and package with almost zero error. But even in this high-tech paradise, humans still matter. They're the overseers, the troubleshooters, the ones who make sure that when something inevitably goes wrong, because it always does, it's fixed before a single soda hits the shelves. The machines may have the speed, but the humans have the judgment. And that judgment is crucial because Pepsi's production line isn't just about efficiency, it's about trust. Every bottle has to meet strict quality checks before it ever leaves the factory. Labels must be straight, caps sealed, liquid levels perfect. Anything off? Pulled immediately. Only the flawless survivors make it to the shipping dock. It's ruthless, but that's the price of maintaining a century-long reputation. Once those bottles and cans are capped, labeled, and stacked, the show moves into its final act, packaging and distribution. Watching this part feels like staring at an industrial ballet. Robotic arms scoop up cases, machines wrap them tight in protective film, and pallets are stacked with almost military precision. Every movement is synchronized, like a dance choreographed down to the millisecond. Efficiency isn't just a goal, it's the religion of the factory floor. But even the most flawless system has one last gatekeeper, quality control. Every bottle, can, and carton is inspected one final time before it's allowed to leave the building. Labels too crooked, caps slightly loose, wrong barcode, those products are yanked immediately. To the untrained eye, the mistakes seem microscopic. But to Pepsi, even the tiniest imperfection could hurt the experience. And the experience is everything. Think about it. The moment you crack open a Pepsi, you expect consistency. That hiss, that fizz, that taste, no surprises. Delivering on that promise is what makes the brand bulletproof. Now let's zoom out. How does Pepsi even make sure the raw ingredients are up to standard in the first place? The journey begins long before the factory doors. Sugar beets pulled from the ground, cocoa beans harvested, hazelnuts collected. It all starts in fields and farms around the world. And each of those ingredients has its own mini adventure. Sugar is extracted, purified, and refined until it's sparkling white. Cocoa nibs are roasted until they fill the air with chocolatey aroma. Hazelnuts are shelled, toasted, and crushed into paste. Each step is monitored as carefully as a chef watching over a Michelin star dish. By the time those ingredients arrive at Pepsi's plants, they've already been through layer after layer of testing. This obsession with precision doesn't just apply to drinks. PepsiCo has its fingers in an entire pantry of foods. Chocolate biscuits are crafted in automated lines where robotic arms smear smooth layers of filling between crisp wafers. Gummy candies are portioned into jars with counting machines that never miss a beat. Even bubble gum is poured into molds like it's liquid gold. And over in the noodle section, steamers puff away while flash fryers lock in flavor. The point is PepsiCo isn't just making sodas, it's building an empire of flavors, each one treated with the same mechanical choreography. But let's circle back to drinks, because packaging is more than protection, it's psychology. A Pepsi can is designed to catch your eye before you even register you're thirsty. The colors are bold, the fonts are sharp, and the textures make holding it feel just a little more satisfying. Researchers literally test how different surfaces feel in your hand. Smooth, matte, glossy, 
Each one tweaks your perception of taste. It sounds over the top, but it works. People drink with their eyes before they drink with their mouths. Of course, there's no ignoring the elephant in the room. Sustainability. Pepsi's refillable glass bottles are a nod to the future, but they also bring us back to the past. Remember when soda used to come in sturdy glass that you'd return to the store? That cycle is making a comeback. Glass, after all, is king when it comes to preserving fizz and flavor. Meanwhile, recycled plastic bottles are another push toward reducing waste. And then there are those controversial black bottles, the stylish rebels of the Pepsi lineup. Critics point out they're difficult to recycle, and Pepsi has had to go back to the drawing board. Solutions like invisible markers and new resin formulas are being tested. The brand knows it has to adapt because the future of packaging isn't just about looking cool. It's about keeping the planet livable. So where does this all end? After the final checks, after the wrapping and stacking, Pepsi products are loaded onto trucks, shipped across highways, and stocked on shelves around the world. The can you grab from your fridge has already traveled through farms, factories, machines, and human hands before it ever kissed your lips. That's the hidden odyssey behind every sip. And once you know it, Pepsi doesn't just feel like a drink. It feels like the finale of a global performance that's been rehearsed for over a hundred years. And let's be honest, Pepsi isn't just quenching thirst. It's competing for attention in a crowded world of choices. One aisle over, there's Coca-Cola with its secret vault recipe. Instead of hiding behind mystery, Pepsi takes a different approach. It showcases its production openly. The message is clear. The quality doesn't need secrecy. It needs transparency. Watching a Pepsi line in action isn't spoiling the magic. It's proving that the magic is real. What makes this whole story fascinating is how human it still is. Yes, robots do the bulk of the work, but humans guide the process, solve the problems, and make judgment calls that machines can't. The balance between automation and human oversight is delicate, but it's also what keeps the wheels turning. It's proof that no matter how advanced technology gets, there's always a place for the human touch. So next time you pop the tab on a can, pause for a second. You're not just drinking flavored carbonation. You're sipping on years of research, mountains of raw ingredients, armies of machines, and the watchful eyes of workers who make sure it all comes together. That crisp fizz, that sweet rush, it's more than soda. It's an experience engineered to feel effortless, even though the effort behind it is massive. And that's the beauty of it. The fact that we never think about the journey means Pepsi has done its job perfectly. Behind the bubbles is a universe of design, science, and logistics. And all you have to do is enjoy it. If this peek behind the curtain made you see your next Pepsi differently, show some love. Hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the hidden worlds behind everyday products. Until next time, stay curious and keep sipping.